to the journals of the classes. In this supplemental series, we will dive into each D&D class and their corresponding subclasses. This week's episode is... Warlock! Warlock! Not to be confused with Adam Warlock. Or War Key. Yeah. Or just War in general. Which is not a thing. No. Alright. Warlock. <laughs> Sworn to a pact with an otherworldly entity, warlocks are the most faithful servant. I mean, you'd think paladins were, but you'd be wrong. Uh, <laughs> warlocks are the most faithful servants of their patrons. <laughs> they are bound to their every ilk and whim for fear of retribution or lust for power. Ooh. I prefer lust for life. The Archfey. This warlock's patron is a ruler of the courts of the Fae. This being's motivations are often inscrutable and sometimes whimsical, and might involve a striving for greater magical power or the settling of age-old grudges. Or they just want peppermint mocha year-round. I mean, it could be life or death, or it could just be like a Tuesday. Very minor, yeah. All right. <laughs> the Celestial. Following a being of good or a servant of a god, this pact allows the warlock to experience the barest touch of the holy light that illuminates the multiverse. So, paladins? Yeah. I mean, <laughs> I mean, I, I mean, guess maybe necessarily. You don't necessarily have to be like righteous to be right. A warlock. Because it could just, just be a god. Of it's some just sort. like hey, I guess maybe um, celestial. Warlocks, like the celestial warlocks, mm -hmm. would probably be partnered with paladins, right? If they like had the same god that they followed, right? But it's like it's like witches in the service of a of god. Well, yeah, I mean, which that... are called priests. Uh, <laughs> we're probably or gonna clerics. we're probably gonna have to cut that one out. Right? Mm -hmm. That's probably too blasphemous. The fathomless. 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 I, mean, I mean, I can fathom the number. Oh. oh. A monster of the seas, or a leviathan, has blessed this warlock with power and uses them to spread their influence beyond the crashing waves. I mean, is it really blessed? Are you blessed? Do you feel blessed? Uh, they, they might. I don't know. I don't know. It's, you know. Do you think the people that make the packs with them know that they're evil and they're just like, I, I don't care, I feel like evil? it's a moment of desperation. Yeah, that's most, so? most like, or they really want something and they're like, hey, you want to make a pack? <laughs> Sign here. <laughs> All right. Okay. Here we go. All right. The fiend. Speaking I mean, up. they just get better. Uh, <laughs> making a pact with a demon or a devil. These are the stereotypical warlocks. What the hell? <laughs> this keeps happening. <laughs> this keeps happening. I swear. <laughs> this is weird. <laughs> it's kind of weird. I mean, we have. A multitude of each one. None of them have the same amount. So it's not like it's like it's <laughs> but just somehow, random. somehow, but somehow. You get stereotypes. Uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> these are the stereotypical warlocks in it for the power or the wealth. You gotta Ooh. do it for the power or the money. The genie, a wish gone awry, or a binding fail. Whatever the reason a pact was struck with a genie, the natural trickery of these weavers of fate will eventually ensnare any mortals who serve them. 10,000 years will give you such a crick in the neck. <laughs> <laughs> and here I'm thinking like the gen, the great old one. With motives incomprehensible to mortals, warlocks who serve the thing that should not be are slowly turned alien by the influence of their patrons and their unfathomable power. What are, what power! Are, what are you, Metallica? The Hexblade. Witches of darkness. These warlocks serve a shadowy evil that grants them weapons and corruption. All they ask in return is the mortal's very soul. It was Agatha all, all along. along. <laughs> <laughs> the undead. Oh, my favorite. <laughs> Always one of these two. Yeah, I'm 
Yeah. Always one of these. I feel like I feel like the universe might be talking about something. Okay. <laughs> the you're, both, you're both undead and stereotypical. I'm not sure. <laughs> uh, I'm a basic and mortal. <laughs> <I'm> basic. <laughs> An unnaturally immortal being, such as a lich, may desire a warlock to transcend the bounds of time and eternally pursue their arcane ends. So they're zombies. But, yeah, pretty much. The undying. Similar to the undead. Undead, undying, yeah. The undying have been blessed with immortality. Hmm. To, to be debated, but all right. Warlocks might seek to uncover the secrets of life and death, and so will enter a pact with those who have walked both worlds. Seek, I seek to uncover the secrets of life and death. I mean... You, it's mostly death, really. <laughs> I mean, they're You're undying. Alive. Right. I mean, I guess they could say medically. I mean, you could right, medically. Like, like, oh, I want to know where the heart is. I want to know. So... <laughs> Their whole, their whole thing is just like, all right, here's a pack. All right, we, you have six weeks of anatomy lessons. Right. Uh, so <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we've enrolled you in a college, and here you go. Right. You're going to get your medical license, and you're going to come back, and it's all going to be magic. Hey! Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, lordy. So that is uh, Warlocks. That's Warlocks. <laughs> warlocks. You know, and really, do you want your friend to be a warlock? Really want your friend to be a warlock? I don't want to be sacrificed, so I'd say no. It's like because I feel like it's uh, I feel like I just like fall into that accidentally. You feel like into it. I'd be like, hey, they'd be like, hey, hey, you want to go to this this cool party that I'm having? I'm like, I'm sure, and I go over there and it's be like, I was getting sacrificed. You want to get sacrificed? I'm like, oh, I guess I have to now. Well, I'm <laughs> like, here. I'm, I might as well. I'm help. here. I might as, look. I, <laughs> I he's a good friend. I just you know, I might as well get sacrificed. Okay, so <laughs> He'd do it for me. <laughs> so, all right everybody <laughs> yes i've been shadu i have been frey and we will see you on the next episode of journal of the classes bye, bye everybody